Are age spots bothering you? Solar lentigo are also known as age spots or liver spots, although they have absolutely nothing to do with your liver. Here's some examples. They're small, flat, freckle-like patches of skin that appear on sun-exposed areas. They can be skin-colored or pigmented brown. Many people tell me that their makeup or false tan makes them stand out and look even more obvious. I'm going to look now at the evidence for various treatments and also some home remedies that people use. Treatments can be divided into two categories, topical creams and physical therapies. Let's look now at topical creams and these can include retinoids and hydroquinone. Retinoids are derived from vitamin A and have been found to be very effective at treating solar lentigo and other pigmented areas. Now retinoids are really important in skin care and I will be discussing these in more detail in other videos. Hydroquinone is another topical cream that's been used to treat hyperpigmentation. However, it's been associated with more side effects such as skin irritation, contact dermatitis and a condition called ochronosis which is like a bluish black discoloration especially in people with darker skin types. Due to these adverse effects, hydroquinone has been removed from cosmetics in several countries. These Topical creams both need to be used consistently and for over six months. Physical treatments include chemical peels, cryotherapy and laser. Chemical peels use a chemical solution to improve the appearance of your skin. These treatments use mild acids to remove the outer layer of skin, promoting the growth of new skin cells and reducing the appearance of solar lentigo. Microneedling, you apply a numbing cream to your skin and then a device which uses rapidly vibrating needles which puncture the surface layer of the skin and can be very useful in a number of cosmetic skin issues. And here's an example of me using cryotherapy to treat some solar lentigo. It can cause some discomfort and even redness and blistering at the site and it forms a scab before it heals. Here's a study comparing the chemical peel agent trichlorothelic acid with cryotherapy for the treatment of solar lentigo on the backs of hands. In this study, cryotherapy worked best, but it took longer to heal afterwards. Post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation was the main complication of both of these treatments, but it was worse in darker skin types. So this means that cryotherapy may be a better treatment for lighter skin types with chemical peel trichlorothelic acid for darker skin types. Like chemical peels, laser can be very effective, but it also causes some trauma to the skin. It works by directing pulses of light energy to targeted areas of the skin, which are absorbed by the concentrated patches of pigment in your sunspots or your solar lentigo. However, there's usually some downtime after the procedure like with all the other treatments. Now, this review paper from early 2023 suggests that the best results are obtained from combining different treatment modalities. When looking at the individual treatments, however, laser tended to work the best with the peels being least effective. I want to look now at home remedies. While reading comments on my previous video on seborrheic keratosis, I came across several comments from people who stated that they were using apple cider vinegar and other agents to treat their lesions. Now, there isn't much scientific evidence to support this, and I'm not saying that it won't work. It just might mean that the studies haven't been done looking at the use of these agents to treat solar lentigo and seborrheic keratosis. Now, I did find this paper in 2022 which described how vinegar can be beneficial for skin health and that's due to its antimicrobial and antioxidant properties but you should be aware that it can also traumatize and burn the skin so just be careful if you do decide to use those products. The bigger concern for me is that people may be unknowingly treating skin cancers with these home remedies and this may delay the diagnosis of these skin cancers and that can lead to further problems down the line. Now that being said, some natural products have shown great promise in treating hyperpigmented areas such as solar lentigo. These promising therapies include things like licorice extract, niacinamide, azelaic acid, soy, mulberry and silly marin from milk thistle. If you're enjoying this content, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. 
Solar lentigo are mainly caused by prolonged exposure to UV or ultraviolet light from the sun or artificial sources like sunbeds. It's mainly the UVA portion of the UV light which causes the solar lentigo. This UVA light triggers the pigment producing cells in the skin known as melanocytes to produce more melanin, the actual pigment. This results in the formation of small darkened patches of skin. Now, other factors such as genetics and aging can also contribute to the development of solar lentigo. Prevention is the best approach. Protecting your skin from too much UV light is crucial for maintaining healthy, youthful looking skin. Now, I love the outdoors and I'm getting outside into nature as much as I can, but these days at least, I always protect my skin when I'm outside. Look for a sunscreen with at least a factor 30 SPF, but also five UVA stars. Look out for darker areas within any flat pigmented areas. Follow the A, B, C, D, E rules. That means watching for lesions which appear to be A, asymmetrical, B, have irregular borders, C, have more than one color, D, look different from all your other lesions, or E, are evolving or growing. If you have a lesion feeling on any of the A, B, C, D, E rules, or you're worried that you may have a skin cancer, it's important to have a checkup with a healthcare professional who has been trained in skin lesion recognition and confident in the use of a dermatoscope. If you like this video, you will also like these other videos, and I've put these together into a playlist, and we're looking at different skin lesions and their treatments. Learn to love the skin you're in. Bye for now.